Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where it's really dark so you can't really see anything. However, what you can see I guess is what we did in the last episode. At the front of the facility we have our storage room, we have the power block which will be changed and I'll detail that in a moment. We've got two sets of visitation which technically are correct and have a ticky box but um, I obviously not done because we need more of the booths. We've got some offices here, we've got staff room and a canteen and obviously a wall that goes all the way around the outside as well as a temporary area where we've got the uh, fencing here as well. So overall we've got um, a fairly decent amount done in a short space of time. I've taken the liberty of I guess skipping ahead a little bit and I've finished the short term investment and the long term investment is going to be done shortly in well just done just in over uh, eight hours so what we need to do in this episode is get the basic detention center grant done which will require one of these to be built so let's just crack on and do that so that's going to be 16 grand there but with the size of this we can get a lot of this done here so we can get the holding cell we can get showers we can get kitchen canteen uh, and some guards and cooks and that will all be in this room let's say it's just about getting the grant done and getting this thing uh, closer towards getting prisoners it's still a couple of episodes off probably um, in order to get some prisoners but we'll see how we get on uh, this room here I did mention that we were going to change it a little bit and what we're probably going to do is move this water pump down a couple of spaces so it's right in this corner and instead of having three power stations with all of the capacitors because I think that's just not necessary for what we've got here uh, I think what we'll do instead is we'll do something like if we have that there we will have from this corner we'll have something coming right down and then going across like that actually it'll be more like that and this is going to be Actually, would it be that size or would we have to shrink it? We might have to shrink it just a little bit so the, uh, the workers can get past. And this is going to be the laundry. Now, it's very small and that's the problem, really, that at the moment we don't really have an area for laundry. I was tempted to put it there, but I really don't know. But we do need an area for laundry because currently we just don't have any and that is a issue. Uh, we could put it up the top here. I mean, we don't even have things like parole, but I don't know if I was really planning on doing that. But we'll see how we get on in terms of that. But yes, laundry is definitely an issue. Anyway, this is now getting lit so that's fine what I'm gonna do is go over to walls here and then we'll go to brick wall because we are using that uh, for the facility and then we're going to place this across and round and what we're going to do is build pretty much um, two sections here. Now obviously this one here is our shower and this one here is well technically it's a security room followed by some um, followed by some solitary but we're going to change these two well this one's still going to be the Still going to be the shower, but the one at the front is going to be a holding cell. It's all about just getting this grant done, you see. Once that grant's done, we can then uh, progress on from there. We do need the kitchen and the canteen, which will require this building to be placed, but that's obviously a bit of an issue because we don't currently have... I think the amount of money that we need however I have a feeling that we'll probably get a bit of a windfall oh there we go cool right so we'll place that now that was our short uh, our long-term investment completed so now we can place this which is obviously our kitchen we will place a staff door in the back here uh, and this is obviously where we'll have the entrance to uh, the kitchen and then we'll go to the canteen there as well we're gonna go over to reports and over to the grants tab and you can see you've got reform through education initiative and staff well-being initiative I'm gonna go for staff well-being initiative because most of it is actually complete anywhere and as part of this uh, grant or part of this grant sorry the basic detention center which includes this room and this room will have to get at least two guards anyway so there's no point there's no reason why we can't just get five guards in total and then that'll give us both grants done which will be a total of 20 grand for the completion of that and then we'll be able to get the other stuff as well so there we go that is now placed excellent are these where we're gonna have the entrance uh, where so there and there although i'm very tempted to Maybe you just ignore this one because it's unlikely that prisoners are going to come out here and then they work their way down to there, isn't it? I mean, they don't, they're don't. probably not going to do that. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. Let's go over to the walls and doors, brick wall, and then we're going to bring the brick wall all the way down like so. As I said, having the entrance there is sort of pointless because the entrance for this is going to lead onto this side, which means prisoners are going to flow from here, down and across, and from here across and then down and so this is the entrance that we'll use there and there basically so it might be best to have perhaps the entrance where if we go over to planning here we'll get rid of that one get rid of that one and actually we'll get rid of all three uh, all four of them there and then maybe have an entrance in this corner then an entrance in this corner and i mean is that big enough or should we just go with should we go with four wide a four wide entrance it's not really been done before i don't know if it's necessary of the size of it we'll see how we get on anyway so this is where we'll have our 
um, kitchen and canteen. Let me just go over to rooms and designate all this as such. I don't know like what the final sizing of things in here is going to be, but it's all about just getting the grant sorted for the time being. That'll go in there. That's a kitchen and canteen placed. I'm just going to go over to planning and objects here. I just want to see the size of this one. We can see it is 24, so we can say have 20 down to there, which is a total of... Uh, well, actually, you know what we'll do is we'll have uh, 10 there and then 10 there, and that is the... That is where we have the the um, serving tables that I was trying to get out. Uh, and we'll have the entrance way for the kitchen there as well. So it means that we can have our standard double door setup type thing. So we'll go for a jail door there and then finally a staff door there. We will place the we will place the walls in. Hang on, let me find where the uh, we'll place a wall in there, wall in there. And I think we'll have the wall in there and then finally in there. And then also means that we can place a large jail door on the bottom and then the top and then we can put all the things in here. So uh, for this area, for the canteen we are probably best on trying to get that sorted let's go over to the planning here and just work out roughly what sort of sizing we'll be using in here so obviously it is a three by four that's the overall size and we can put it well we can, we can do it the other way as well so we can go for a, a four by three as well but let's just see roughly what we can fit in i'm hoping to have a gap of say um a gap of two all the way around so they can just sort of funnel that way and across. Maybe that's not the way of doing it then. So we can have, say, a three by four. And then we'll leave a gap like that. And that should hopefully allow us to fit in a fair amount of these. Let me see if I can get some more in there. And then we'll work from this side up and see if that fits in quite nicely. It does fit in quite nicely with a nice sort of walkway in the centre there. And roughly what amount are we going to have here? So that is... Oh, more than enough. More than enough. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we could, if we want to, place some things back here. We're not going to. What we will probably end up doing is having the wall, and this is only a temporary idea, a temporary plan, really, is have this go along like so, and we'll have, say, an entrance where the entrance where there, and then this will just be a row of toilets along here. And then we can also have, if we wanted to, a, a set of maybe phone booths along that side or along this side haven't yet decided but that's the rough idea and if we've got a rough idea we can at least work from there in terms of the uh, cookers and such it's quite simple we're going to place a cooker in there we do need to have a sink and i'm very tempted to put say like a a dual sink setup right in the center here normally we go for the cookers all along there and then the followed by the followed by the fridges behind it don't know if that's a good idea because well i don't know is it a good idea do we want to place these back there? No, you really need good access from for the fridge to the cooker. So that is fine, having all the cookers down there, fridge down the centre, and then I guess the sinks at the back. I mean, it's not ideal because you have to bring them all in that corner, but that's eh, what we'll do. Right, let's go over to our objects once again, table, and then we'll place a table in there, followed by the bench either side of that one, and obviously serving tables will fit in there, there, there and there and we obviously have this one little gap there which we will place a little wheelie bin in the corner as well and that gives us the uh, kitchen and the canteen pretty much done there we go so we have the yard kitchen and canteen we do need a holding cell and a shower which we will do now so we'll go over here we'll go for our where is it objects and then large jail door will go in that corner there we will go for rooms and shower. You can see it is highlighted there, so it's easy to see. Holding cell, obviously temporary, will go in there. In terms of objects, if we're just going to shove them in the middle. It really matters not uh, because this will be removed. In terms of the shower, though, we will complete it because this is going to be the permanent fixture anyway. So we'll do that. And then we'll have the drains going along the center there. Uh, sorry, on the um, top and bottom. In the center, I'm very tempted to put some benches, uh, double benches, like there and there and then there and there. It's not strictly necessary, um, and I don't know if it's just taking up room. In fact, I think it is taking up room, so I'll cancel that. We'll still keep the money, though, obviously. we uh, still keep the tables because we're, we'll use them in the uh, canteen here. So there is two more completed. So we now have basically the basic detention center done. We need to hire two cooks and two guards. Before we do that, we'll go over to Regime and we'll just change all of this to free time. Not that anything is cooked when there's no prisoners here anyway. The game is sort of on a, not a sandbox mode, but none of the doors uh, are locked or anything. You can see the large jail doors. Normally they're locked as standard, but when there's no prisoners, they always stay open. So there's that sorted. In terms of the utilities, it's probably best for us to run that now. Um, we'll and we we'll probably be running it around anywhere. But let's just think for the future. We are probably going to have this power station power maybe this building 
and these buildings, and maybe the central one, and then this power station will power these, and these two, and then that one there, just so we've got an even distribution. The problem is that I've built that building, and this building, and maybe if we just say build... We'll, we'll, uh, basically, whatever I do now, we're going to have to redo in the future. So, bad planning by myself, although I don't think that shocks yourself here. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that shocks anyone. Right, let's go down and across, and we'll probably run into there right through the center. And we will have to go to the edges like so, because that'll be powering up the metal detectors, which will be there. There'll be metal detectors. Um, actually, there will be a metal detector there, but not anywhere else so that is fine these will be built all the way down eventually with extra extra fridges and cookers so that will eventually be connected up anyway so I'm not concerned about putting anything else in there in terms of the water pump I might go ahead and move that now simply because if we do decide to put something in there at least we've shifted it um, we do however need to connect this up. I'm going to cancel that section actually because I want to put it on this side just so I can run the water pump, uh, the water pipe rather on that side and it's not crossing over. Not that it matters you understand but we'll see. Let's dismantle this one and see if it breaks because in previous previous versions of the game you used, it didn't used to be able to disable some, uh, dismantle some of this stuff. It used to break it completely so we'll see. Today's beverage is a nice cup of uh, green tea. So, with a hint of lemon as well, I believe. So, we've got this shower not plumbed in, but at least placed. Obviously, power is a bit of a problem. Let's see if this breaks. It does say dismantle water pump station, and it does put it back in a box, and it has also been ordered to be removed. I should really get rid of this uh, mod for that. Uh, let's go for utilities and then water pump, and we will put that in the corner there. You can see there is a tiny bit of this um, electrical cable still remaining, but that's not much of a concern. We will go ahead and dismantle it, though just in case we do decide to put something there and it connects up and you just don't want that uh, hanging over you. So the workers are going to crack on and place all of these power cables. We will have to run them into here. We should get away with two rows, probably uh, one on this side and one on the other side. So let's do just that. So it'll run down there, it'll run down there and then straight up and that will hopefully connect and light all of that up. Um, it will also have the added benefit of, actually I was going to say added benefit of having the metal detectors here um, all sorted, but we don't actually have metal detectors in this cell block, which is a problem. Uh, that wasn't originally the, <laughs> wasn't originally planned. Um, I was just going to dump them there, and I still might do that because they don't, as far as I'm aware, block your, uh, your movement. So I think just placing them there and there would be fine. We'll just have to make sure that the doors are there, so it's not a big problem. We can hear a clunk -clunk noise, and that means that the water pump is back in which is excellent. You may notice that there's not as many workers, or you may feel like there's not many workers, and that is true. I did get rid of some of the workers. You can see we've only got eight workers now out of the total of 12, I think they originally had. It's just because we were losing money, um, and I didn't, with it, with it being a sort of waiting game of 120-odd uh, hours for the, uh, for the short and long-term investment, I didn't want to spend that money. And... Uh, yeah, just having having that, like, losing all the time, no, it's just, it didn't uh, sit well. Anyway, so the work is going to complete this section here, which should be fine, and then it's just a case of getting the guards and the cooks. Now, the problem with that is as soon as we hire those, we will start to lose money. It will be a case of, right, money is now going down, and the clock starts. It's a ticking clock. Well, we then have to get some guards, uh, get some prisoners, and set up guards and all that sort of thing, but the guards that we have, uh, obviously we are going to go for... Um, a total of it says two and then five guards so we'll get five guards to start with obviously the original idea and intention was to have one guard every 10 prisoners and I did state that that guard also meant whether it be canine unit standard guard sniper arm guard etc um, <laughs> being a mixed bag if I'm uh, totally honest with you a lot of people saying wow that's a fairly interesting challenge others saying that's absolute suicide and I am leaning towards the latter rather than the former it is interesting but it's also extremely difficult to pull off so that might be revised in the future but I'll I'll mention that when we get to that and obviously take uh, your feedback but let's go over to um do we want to put these metal detectors in now i think i do i think metal detectors in now would be an advantage just so we've got at least some in there because in case i forget is the main reason if i'm honest with you so those are now placed in there that's fine 
we have four grand remaining so what i'm going to do is go over to staff and then to cook and go one two that will get that grant done the basic detention center then over to garden one two that gets that grant done then one two three and then that is now the other grant done as well so we now have 21 grand but we are losing three grand per day you can see we have staff morale because we did turn that on. However, we can't see that because we need a psychologist. However, we're going to go over to grants and we're going to get cell block A because that is fairly easy to complete. And then we're going to go over to probably... Ooh, that's a question. Uh, which one do we get now? Let me just pause a moment and check. So we've got reform through education initiative, security procedure certification, visitor rights, and prison maintenance. If I just check the bureaucracy, we can see I've unlocked most of the maintenance stuff anyway, so that's not a problem. I will go for uh, prison labor, and I think I'm going to go for probably prison maintenance because most of it will be completed i think unlock maintenance through bureaucracy if i unpause it yeah in fact we only need two janitors and one gardener to get that done so we might as well do that so one gardener and then two janitors there we go and that's another grant done we're now up to 53 grand we're going to go over to i guess security procedure certification would be good but at the same time it requires us to hire 10 guards and we're already stretching the original the original goal with having five guards now and obviously this thing can only hold uh, 20 odd prisoners i think we worked it out to be so is that right um anyway why is that not being built that's very strange we have this weird glitch and i think it's to do with there's a bit of power cable sitting around the place there it is there that's the power there dump that please it's stuck on the top there if we dump that it should fix the problem that's like a weird bug that i haven't seen in quite some time it used to be a very common occurrence but it's uh read its ugly head for this series and i don't think that's going to get built no no, let me have a ch quick check. Um, where would it be? Jobs. Install electrical cable in progress. Right, so... Oh, hang on. No, someone's come along to do it. There we go. We're fine. Yes, it was that bit there. It was that one bit of cable that had uh, glitched out. Right, so where were we? Um, other grant, yes, of course. So we can't really go for that one yet. Prisoner acclimatization is not possible because we don't have two of those buildings, not prisoners. Visitation rights is not unreasonable. Not unreasonable. What I'm going to do, though, I'm looking for the advanced payment, you see. I'm going to go for visitation rights because we do have some of them anyway so we'll get that sorted um but the main reason is you know i just want to get some more cash so we need to do inmate health and well-being which means a medical ward that is not unreasonable to um assume that we can do that now and the advantage we have is that in doing this what we'll also do is have an area down here which it was originally designated to be like a, a common room type of arrangement it means that having that there, we can get this sorted. And we can get the uh, visitation rights done. So that's good. While they're cracking on with that, I am going to, I think, spend a bit of money and build the kitchen up. Like that. The fridge. Like that. I'm also tempted, very tempted in fact, to cut the kitchen off there. And have this bottom section as the laundry. Haven't yet decided fully. We'll see how we get on. So, we're going to go straight across. In like this. And hang on. That's a gap of three. Whereas that's a gap of two. And this is wrong. So that cancel, cancel, cancel. It doesn't need to be this size, but it would fit in a bit better. It also means I can do that, and we can have another bed in there. Right, that makes sense. So, it does... Uh, we have a little dingling noise there. That is the prison labour completed. We don't have policy. We don't have remote access. Let's start getting that. 
as well as dogs. We don't need tax relief or land expansion. We don't need legal yet. I t anticipate we probably will need that. And education? No, probably not needed. Right. So, we'll go over to objects and to large jail door. We'll place a large jail door in there. And in... Mm, it's not even built yet, so we probably won't bother. And we can see that we have some awful planning template stuff here. We'll just cancel all that and I'll redo some of this one. So, we're going to get rid of all of that. All of that. Objects. That would be beds across there and then beds... Mm, no, nope, can't fit in there. Technically, we could do that. That would be fine. I wasn't originally intending on uh, having having that there because we were going to put a wall section in and then have a metal detector, but I don't know if it's necessary. I really don't know. Anyway, so we'll go over to rooms then and have this as the infirmary. And I'll preemptively just leave that as is. Uh, common room, yeah, go on, we'll place the common room in there. Although I'm very, I think the com this common room and common room at the top bottom will be changed up somehow, so we'll have parole or something in the back. Not that we intend to do really a lot of reform, but I think morgue is not exactly, not exactly reform enough. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really envisage a lot of the prisoners qualifying for it but anyway we'll place it in there so we've placed these rooms for the morgue and the infirmary and i think we will leave it there because that is most of what we need pretty much sorted actually no i will do one more thing and that is run this electrical uh, run the pipe for for these toilets and stuff the pipe is going to be fairly simple i'm going to have the i'm going to have the bed there and then the toilet in that corner there just so it's the it's further out the way than anything else we'll have this run across and then down and we'll probably just run it in that way as well so it means that we can probably run how we're going to do this um, that across i mean we could technically just go straight down and do that couldn't we uh, that's not not unreasonable that's not unreasonable so, we need to get uh, our prisoner capacity up to 15. I ideally, I want this room completely done. So, all of the rooms, all of the security, everything else in here done, complete. And that will be the aim for next episode. And that obviously means plumbing it in and having all of the uh, water and power requirements as well as uh, maybe some flooring. It's a little bit dirty at the moment, as you can see. <laughs> But we do have 37 grand and we're only losing a little bit per day, although that will increase once we get a couple of things. So we need, well, uh, two doctors and a psychologist, which will be over here. So that's going to probably put that at about minus a grand a day. It's still not too bad. It's not too bad, considering the grants that we're getting done and all of that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave it there. As I said, uh, next episode, we'll crack on and hopefully get, at minimum, this grant done here. and um, Probably even that one, but we'll, we'll probably think about where we're going to place some other rooms in there. But we'll see. And then, finally, we'll get this pretty much done as well. And then, we'll think about security and then we're very close to getting some prisoners and then it burning down in probably episode six so i hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>